Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a tag that I saw going around a lot about a month ago, and it's just taken me this long to get all my thoughts together, get all the products together, and go ahead and film it for myself. But I'm super excited about it because the tag is top three favorite makeup products from every category. I've seen a lot of people do this, but I will dig and find out who is the originator of this tag and definitely link them in their video down below. But this was really tough because there's so many good products in all of these different categories, but I narrowed it down to my favorite, favorite, favorite ones right now. So the three products from every category that I find myself reaching for all the time in this present moment. So I'm gonna kinda go in order of the way that I do my makeup as I'm going through these. I'm also gonna go through these pretty quickly because there's three products per category of the entire face, so I can't go on and on about each product, otherwise this will be like a two hour video. So I'm gonna kinda shoot through these really quickly. So if you have any questions or wanna know more about any of these products, definitely comment down below your question and I will get back to you. And you can also always in the YouTube search bar, search the name of a product and then Drugstore Maven and any videos I have on that product will come up and you can kinda see them in action, see them in more detail, because like I said, this one will be pretty quick. So let's go ahead and start off with brows. All right, so the three products that I'm reaching for all the time in terms of brows are number one, this Joa Beauty Brow Down To Me Brow Pencil. If you've been following me for a while, this will not be a surprise. I absolutely love this. This is a relatively recent find for me, definitely a find this year. Joa Beauty in general is a brand that I've been discovering this year and I've been super impressed by. It has a spoolie. I use mine in the shade medium brown and it's like the perfect shade for me. It just glides on so smoothly and then blends out easily. So this has been a recent discovery and a new favorite of mine. And then kind of on the other end of the spectrum, this has been a favorite of mine for as long as I can remember. This is the NYX Professional Micro Brow Pencil. And I like this one in the shade Taupe. That's what I'm wearing right now and it's a little bit lighter. So when I want to have a less of a bold brow moment, I will go for this taupe shade. I also really recommend this if you're more of a beginner and you have darker brows like I do. You can really be pretty messy with this because it's not like a deep, deep brown that's gonna be really obvious. This is the type of shade that you can kind of experiment with and really get away with if you're a beginner. So amazing formula and love this shade. And then for a brow gel, I've been discovering a lot of brow gels like the Juvia's Place, the Milani one that I really, really like. But when it came down to the one that I reach for the most, it would be this e.l.f. Wow Brow. Definitely a Glossier Boy Brow dupe. This is a perfect one and done type of product if you wanna kind of have a light makeup day. It has these microfibers, so it's not only gonna set your brows in place, but it's adding volume to your brows with those microfibers, as well as adding color. So like I said, a great standalone product if you want quick brows that look polished, but all you do is run this through them, or you can layer this on top of one of those brow pencils. Those are my top three brows. Next up is primer. I just did a video on my favorite primers for every skin type, so I will link that down below if you're looking for one for a specific skin type. But I feel like these three are just great across the board. The first is the e.l.f. Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. This is a dupe for the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. If you like a really good gripping primer, this is an amazing one. This was a part of their Mint Melt collection, which I believe was limited edition, so this may not be readily available. So if you're looking for the exact same type of product, the e.l.f. Jelly Pop is almost the same formula same type of gripping primer. So if I can find this, I will link it down below. If not, I will link the jelly one. Same concept, gripping primer, amazing. And then the next one is the Marshmallow Primer. This is the NYX Marshmallow Primer that went viral this year for a very good reason. This is like a moisturizing without being greasy primer. It evens out the texture of your skin, it's silicone free, and it's good for all skin types. So this deserves all the hype that it gets. And then last but not least is a newer primer find for me. This is the Wet n Wild Impossible Primer Base. Another silicone free one that I highly recommend. It helps your makeup go on more smoothly, it helps it last longer, and everything you could want out of a primer. So. Those are my top three primers. I told you I was gonna kinda go quickly because we got a lot more categories to go. All right, next up is foundation. And the first one will not be a surprise to anyone. This is the L'Oreal True Match Nude with Hyaluronic Acid. This is like the only product that I used for a very long time until I discovered another foundation that I'm really loving. This is somehow a very thin skin-like formula that still gives you amazing coverage and is long wearing. It's like, it's incredible. Next up is a newer find for me that I was kind of surprised when I was making this video, my notes for this video, that this was 
gonna end up in here because it is so new. But since I found it, just like the True Match, it's the only foundation that I've been wearing. And it's the Joa Beauty Crystal Glow Primedation. It's made with hyaluronic acid, crystallide, and collagen. So it's supposed to be like where skincare meets makeup. And I always love products that kind of merge the two together because you're gonna be wearing it on your face all day and might as well be doing something good like the L'Oreal one that has 1% hyaluronic acid, and then this one has hyaluronic acid and collagen. So beautiful radiant finish, long wearing, and love the ingredients. And then I couldn't choose between these two. They're both Catrice, so I decided to put them both in here. The HD Liquid Coverage and the True Skin. Depending on what my skin is doing, as you guys know with my hormones between pregnancy and breastfeeding, my skin has gone from super oily to super dry to normal to combination and it just depends on where I am in my skin journey on um, which one of these speaks to me but they both do on such a high level that I had to include them both. HD liquid coverage foundation this is more matte so when my skin is more oily this is a foundation that is always in rotation. It has a beautiful finish. This still looks skin like but it definitely controls the oil throughout the day and is super long wearing. Whereas this one I would say is more of a natural finish. If anything, it leans a little bit more radiant, but again, extremely long wearing and does not budge throughout the day. This one is also made with hyaluronic acid. That's like the ingredient of the year. Okay, next up is concealer. And the three I have been reaching for nonstop are for three different purposes. So I've got a super full coverage one, a more natural one, and then a more every day, no makeup makeup. So let's start with the full coverage one for when I either haven't slept or I'm doing some sort of a full glam look like for an event, for a wedding, something like that. And it is the CoverGirl True Blend Concealer. This stuff is so, so good. It's super thin in consistency, but then it blends out. Like you put a tiny little dot and then as you're blending it, you're like, how is this spreading this much? So super full coverage, but not at all cakey and extremely long wearing. My voice is going. And then next up is the Catrice True Skin High Coverage Concealer. This one is high coverage, it's long wearing, but I would say the CoverGirl one has a little bit more coverage, is a little bit more of like a glam look, whereas this one you can get away with more on an everyday basis. This is made with, again, hyaluronic acid. It's hydrating for underneath the eyes. Another recent find for me, but it is absolutely incredible. And then last but not least, this is something that I actually keep in my diaper bag for when I am on the go and I have no makeup on, and maybe I'm like sitting in a parking lot with my kids waiting for a doctor's appointment or something, and I just wanna put something underneath my eyes where I don't look like I'm dying. <laughs> That's dramatic, but no sleep can do thanks to you. And it is the e.l.f. Flawless Brightening Concealer. This is a pen style applicator with a little clicker, and it's a really thin formula that can look super duper natural if all you put on is this product, but it's also sort of a dupe for like the YSL Touche Eclat. So if you're doing more of a glam look, you could go in with something like the Catrice or the CoverGirl and then layer this on top in a lighter color and use this as like your highlighter. All right, next up is powder and there are four powders that I had a lot of trouble in taking one out of the equation. So there's gonna be an honorable mention. But the first is the number seven Lift and Luminate powder. In the shade Light, it is the perfect shade for my complexion to set underneath the eyes. It is the most flattering under eye powder that I have ever found. I've raved about this so many times that I'm not gonna go on and on, but if you haven't tried it, stop sleeping on this product. It is as incredible as everyone says it is. The next is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. This has been something I've really fallen in love with this year, I feel like. I slept on it for a while and then I picked it up and I was so impressed by how well it sets my makeup. It sets it and makes it not go anywhere, but it also leaves that really skin-like natural shine, like the hourglass ambient light type of finish. Really great for those of you that don't like that powdery look. You wanna set your makeup with a powder because it helps it last, but then you hate the way that that powder makes your foundation look. This is a great product to try. And then the last one is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. This is so incredibly affordable. You get so much product and this is my go-to oily skin, oily spot powder. It helps so much with shine, with makeup longevity. So I definitely recommend putting this in any spots where you get shiny and this will keep those oils at bay. And again, amazing price point. And then the honorable mention has to be my number seven loose powder. This has vitamin E, provitamin B5, and hyaluronic acid. Another great, great, great setting powder for more normal to dry skin. All right, next up is bronzer. And I was gonna do an honorable mention type thing here too because I couldn't narrow it down. 
but then I decided to separate it into cream bronzers and liquid bronzers because I love too many bronzers. Let's go ahead and start with the cream bronzers. All right, so first up is the Physician's Formula Sculpting Bronzer. This is made with jojoba oil. I have mine in the shade Mocha, and this is just such an incredible stick contour or stick bronzer. It blends out so seamlessly. You just layer this over your foundation and then blend it out with whatever brush you use to apply your foundation. And it just adds this natural lip from within bronzed effect. So, so good. And then the next is a new refine for me. This is the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. I've been so impressed by the whole e.l.f. Putty line. But this bronzer is no exception. This is such a creamy, creamy formula very very natural and buildable i would say if you're comparing it to the physician's formula one this one goes on a little bit less pigmented so it's more buildable more beginner friendly both beautiful products just kind of depends on what you're looking for and then last but not least is the soul cream bronzer i have mine in the shade medium dark the only thing i will give you a heads up on with this one is that it does have a pretty strong smell but once it's on the face you can't smell anything at all it feels very luxury it feels very high end and you can use this on your face and on your body so another great way to warm up the face without adding any additional powder all right and then moving on to powder bronzers i didn't do this for highlighters and blushes there's just too many bronzers i love i love bronzers i love a good bronzer so the first is not going to be a surprise. This is the e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer. That's the one I have on today. I have mine in the shade Forever Sunkissed, and it's just so natural, so beautiful. It has primer infused in it, so you don't need to layer this over a foundation. You can wear this all on its own. It is the creamiest formula. This has no business being a $6, I believe. This feels like an incredibly luxury formula. Next up is a formula that is newer to me, but I'm obsessed with talked about this before and it's the Juvia's Place new bronzer duos. The packaging on these is amazing. It comes with a mirror and then two different shades. This has a huge color selection. I think it goes from fair all the way to deep dark and I have mine in the shade tan but it's so creamy so long lasting and the color range is incredible. And then last but not least is the Maybelline City Bronzer. I have this in the shade 200, another silky smooth formula that just lasts all day and blends seamlessly on the skin. This shade is so beautiful, it's the perfect match for my skin tone. Okay, so that's bronzers. Next up is blush. And now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, mm, I should have done cream and powder blushes because there are so many creams that I'm leaving out, but I would say these are three I'm reaching for the most. And the first is this e.l.f. Putty Blush. Really, really beautiful, buildable cream blush. It's not too pigmented, and it just really melts into the skin. Both this product and the bronzer from the Putty line it really give me kind of like Glossier vibes, where it's very skin-like, very natural. You can wear this with no foundation, and just a really beautiful skin-like formula, and I love this color. All right, next up is a new find for me that I am completely obsessed with. And this is the Alme Healthy Hue Blush in the shade, it doesn't say the shade, but I will again link this down below. This is the blush I have on today. It is so sunny, you guys. It doesn't have any sort of a shimmer in it, but it gives the skin a beautiful luminosity. A lot of people are saying that this is a dupe for the Patrick Ta blush formula, so can't go wrong with that. And then last but not least for blush are these Flower Beauty Flower Pots. I have these in almost every shade and they are just stunning. Come with a little flower embroidered in the blush, which is so cute. And this is in the shade Barrymore. Oh, it's such a creamy formula. This is a perfect kind of holiday shade. It has a little bit of a sheen to it. Absolutely stunning formula. So those are the three blushes I've been reaching for by far the most. And then next up is highlighters. I have four. Again, I'm a rule breaker but I couldn't narrow it down. So the first is one that is unfortunately broken, but it's a new find for me that is insanely good. It is the Catrice More Than Glow Highlighter. I have raved about this so many times. All of these formulas give a very natural highlight. I don't like a glittery highlight. I don't like a thick highlight. I want just like a wet lit from within natural highlight and that's exactly what this one gives you can build it up to be more intense but it's not going to be like the stripe of highlighter on your face right off the bat so that's what i love about all of these highlighters and this one is just my current absolute favorite this next one has i think it has like three stars on ulta's website and i'm like what is wrong with everyone because i don't know if i got like a different formula or what but this is an incredible highlighter the one that I'm wearing today and it's the Revolution Glow Splendor Ultra Glow 
highlighter in the shade So Glazed. It's massive. It has a huge, beautiful mirror. And then this, I mean, does this not look like Charlotte Tilbury to you? It is so, so stunning and it is so natural. But look how absolutely stunning and natural that formula is. This is one of the ones where I'm like, everyone is sleeping on this formula. It is so incredible. And then next up is the Revlon Skin Lights. This has grown on me. I feel like when I first tried it, it was a little bit too intense for me. And, but then as I've gotten through that top layer, it seems like sometimes there's like a film on top which makes it more glittery. Once I got through that, I really, really fell in love with this. This is in the shade Daybreak Glimmer, and it is such a stunning formula. And then honorable mention to my Ride or Die Flower Beauty highlighter. This comes with three different shades. These are beautiful both as eyeshadows and as highlighters. Such, I mean, it feels like a cream to powder type of formula, and it is just absolutely stunning. All right, next up is eyeshadow. And... Instead of picking three like eyeshadow palettes, I picked three eyeshadow formulas. There's three different brands that I think are owning it in the eyeshadow department. And the first is e.l.f. These e.l.f. Bite Size palettes are so, so good. Amazing formula. The shimmers are beautiful. The mattes are super blendable. And I have, I have more than this. I have a ton of them. The one that I would say I'm reaching for the most right now is the one in the shade Truffles. I feel like it's a really nice, just neutral palette. And then you guys knew this one was coming. The Essence palettes are so, so good. These are $3.99, come with a mirror, and absolutely stunning formula. I've raved about these before, but I also wanted to just mention this Into the Wild palette that I'm loving because the formula is very similar to these ones that everyone's been talking about. I feel like not enough people have been talking about how good this one is. And the color selection and the mirror in this one, I feel like makes it worth the $10 price tag. Every single one of you guys that have picked this up have messaged me being like, oh my God, I'm so in love. And then the last eyeshadow formula that has just been nailing it for me lately, it's the one that I'm wearing right now, is the Juvia's Place eyeshadows. The one that I'm wearing is the Nubian by Juvia's Place. This one came broken and I was too lazy to go and get it replaced. So I've just been using it even though it's broken. The mattes in here, I would say are better than the mattes in those other two palettes that I recommended. They blend out like no shadow you've ever tried. I absolutely, absolutely love this formula and the different color selections. I did a video recently where I was wearing this taupey eyeshadow palette and so many of you guys commented on my eyeshadow and it was this palette right here. I love the colors in here. And then I've raved about this one too, this blushed rose palette for more of like a rosy, warm tone look. So I have a ton of their palettes and they just don't disappoint. Okay, next up is eyeliner. And there's two products, one of the eyeliners and one of the lip glosses that are somewhere downstairs and I'm filming right now. My husband has the two kids and if they see me, it's game over. So I'm just gonna tell you about it, but you guys have seen these a million times on my channel. so. The first is the Physician's Formula Liquid Liner, the kind of metal looking eyeliner. I'll put a picture right here. Um, I have it in both the brown and the black. Incredible formula, my number one favorite liquid liner by far. It's incredible. But honestly, this is a category where it was so easy for me to come up with my favorite pencil and my favorite liquid that it was hard for me to come up with number three because I feel like I have a top two with this one. And it's definitely the Physician's Formula liquid and then this Milani stay put pencil liner. This stuff does not budge. This is my favorite like waterline, tight lining, or just pencil smoke out liner by far. But then when I thought about the other liquid that I've been using a lot, it's the Essence 24 Ever Ink Liner. That's the one I have on right now. It really feels like an actual pen. It almost has like a pen grip down here too, so it's really easy to hold on to. It has a nice small tip and it just doesn't budge. It lasts all day long. So super affordable and really, really great formula. I've been loving. All right, next up is mascara. This is one that I feel like I have 10 favorites, like the e.l.f. Big Mood, L'Oreal Unlimited, Lash Paradise, Exhibitionist, like I could name so many that I love, but I had to stick to three and I stuck to three. So these were the three that came to mind. All right, so the first is a brand new find for me, but I have been obsessed with it. I talked about it on Instagram much, a bunch of different times and it is the highly rated anti-gravity mascara. This is just instant volume, 
It's incredible. It's a nice thick formula and it absolutely does not smudge on me. After like 12 hours of wear, sometimes I'll see some flakes, but that's with really any mascara on me because I have pretty oily eyelids, but this is so, so good. Highly recommend picking that up before it goes viral and sells out. The next is so underrated. This is the L'Oreal Age Perfect Mascara. I like to layer this with the Lash Sensational. That's what I did today, and it's just incredible. Something about this duo is so lengthening and curling. I can't believe more people aren't talking about this one. This is like L'Oreal Voluminous Classic meets Lash Paradise. It's I think it's better than both of those. And then last but not least is my CoverGirl Lash Blast Clean. You guys know how much I love this. This is more for like a natural lash, really good separation, but extremely buildable. So you can go really natural or super full glam with the same mascara, depending on how many coats that you wanna use. Okay, next up is lip liner. And the first is the classic NYX lip pencils. I have this in the shade brown. I use this in my last video. I use this all the time, incredibly affordable, and it just is a perfect liner to pair with any nude lipstick because you can really kind of distinguish where the lip starts instead of just fully nuding out your lips. This gives them a little bit like a contour and a little bit of definition. And then this next one is the NYX Nude Suede Shoes, and this is the Slide On Glide On, definitely a turn on waterproof extreme lip liner. This is one that will not budge. This is almost like a liquid lipstick. I've used this before totally on its own, and it does not budge. This is one of the most, it might be the most long wearing lip liner I've ever chosen. So if you find lip liner wearing off on you all the time, give this formula a try, and that color is beautiful. And then last but not least is the Milani understatement lip liner again in the shade brown. I like like brownie shades because I feel like it contours the lips Makes them look bigger and this is no exception. So those three Colors and formulas highly recommend. All right, and then we have lipsticks and glosses and then I gotta go get my kid because I can hear him fussing so the first is this L'Oreal liquid lipstick. This is the best liquid lipstick at the drugstore Just the best liquid lipstick I've ever tried Super thin formula. It doesn't feel like a liquid lipstick. It feels like water, but it stains the lips. It lasts a really long time and is so flattering. And then this L'Oreal, the whole range of, lay, of the less nudes or lay nudes is absolutely stunning. These feel like YSL lipsticks, but they are L'Oreal. L'Oreal owns YSL, so it's not a surprise that they're very similar. And I feel like this is one of those opportunities where the formula is so similar to high end. Why spend more money when you can get this super luxurious looking and feeling lipstick at the drugstore. It's more of a sheer buildable formula, very moisturizing, but then it also stains the lips. So best of both worlds. And then last but not least is this Flower Beauty lipstick. The shade Spiced Petal is the perfect everyday nude. I wear this all the time. This is a creamy classic lipstick. So more of a classic formula, more of a moisturizing formula, and then more of a liquid lipstick. And then last but not least, we have glosses. And this is the other one where I have one downstairs that I can't go get. And the one downstairs is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Silk. So good, so pigmented and moisturizing. If you're looking for a lot of a pigment out of your lip gloss, that's the one to go with. The next one is my all-time favorite lip gloss I've ever tried, and it's the Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper. This makes you look like you just got your lips done. Even though I've never gotten my lips done, I feel like this is what it looks like. It plumps the lips, but it doesn't have that weird tingling sensation. And the shade Champagne is the most flattering lip color. This is something everyone needs in their makeup collection. And then last but not least is the Essence Shine 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 Wet Look Lip Gloss. It's the one that I'm wearing right now. 10 out of 10 recommend this. This again has like a cooling plumping effect and it is so long wearing, nothing sticky about it and it's just so incredibly flattering on the lips. So that is everything. I feel like I shot through that pretty quickly but hopefully you got something out of this video if you're looking for something out of one of these categories. Let me know if some of y'all's top three in the comments down below, I would love to know and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching if you stuck around and I will see you in my next one, bye.